Hello and welcome to Infinity. When we're putting text onto a piece of paper, sometimes it's useful to have a background which is a sort of faint picture or a watermark. Very easy way to do this. Take a picture with a nice bit of space for to put the text in. Then we go to the adjustments and go up to curves. Right, now with the curves, very, very simple. All we do is take the left hand node there and just drag it upwards until it's faint enough and in the background that just suits us. So we've got a nice space here for text. To do the text, we come to the text tool here. We right click on that and you can use the artistic text tool, which is just straight text, which will go straight and won't wrap at all, or frame text to bound it within an area so it'll automatically wrap. First thing we do is we draw the frame within which it's going to fit. And then we type, so yeah, a bit of Shakespeare. Um, this is white on white here, so it's very not difficult to see, you know, to be difficult to see. So we want to change the fill color. We can select it uh, and then change that there. Another way of doing it, um, just to show the the uh, what you can do is go to the move tool. And then this is selected, you've got the blue dots around it, and then we can just go straight to here and change the colour to black. So there we are. But yeah, what if we say, well, oh, actually it would be nice if you know, because there was white there. How about having the word winter in white? So I click on that again with the move tool, and if I double click, it automatically switches back to the text tool. And now I can just highlight the winter there and put that in white. Hmm, but now it's gone back to the problem of there's white on pretty much white. How, what if we change the background a bit? Let's just double click on the curves. And what we want to do is to effectively bring this down here to make this, instead of being a white background, more of a grey background. So we can just bring this down and bring the other end down as well. Just keep the slope. The slope will give the contrast. And there, there we got somewhere near the middle. The word winter is now a lot clearer. Something else we could do with it is we could make the background grey if, say, we want to print in on a black and white printer. And to do that, or we just want it grey anyway, we click on the RGB here, go to grey. We have to, because it resets when you do that, you just have to bring up the, the line again to something that's like a nice low contrast. Um, and there you go. So that's a very, very easy way of doing a watermarked, it's like indistinct background at whatever level of grey you like to highlight the text using the text tool down here. And the move tool can be used to move things around and, and double clicking can automatically switch back and so on, and all that stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching.